Drones have become increasingly popular in modern warfare, from large, long-endurance drones like the Predator to small civilian drones weighing only a few tens of kilograms. However, the history of drone warfare is not short. It had already seen combat in World War II, with the American Interstate Attack Drone being one of them. It was also known as the American version of the Kamikaze Special Attack Squad. The idea of drones was proposed by Colonel Delmar S. Farney in 1936. He envisioned developing this weapon for the Navy to deploy a large number of bomb-carrying drones to targets in future wars, even for suicide attacks. This would not only increase combat efficiency but also reduce casualties. However, building remote-controlled drones with the scientific technology available at the time was a major challenge. Most people within the Navy did not approve, so the project remained low priority. Several years later, with the advancement of television and radar technology, drones finally saw the light. In the mid-World War II period, the American Interstate Aircraft and Engineering Company manufactured this type of drone, known as the Interstate Attack Drone, or Interstate TDR-1. In fact, it was a small twin-engine single-wing remote-controlled bomber, different photos show that these planes had both low and high wings. The aircraft weighed less than 2,700 kilograms, with a steel tube frame and laminated wood skin, powered by two Lycoming O-435-2 opposed piston engines, later variants using radial engines were developed, each outputting 220 horsepower. It had a disposable tricycle landing gear that could be jettisoned for better flight performance, but at the cost of losing the ability to return for landing. Its maximum flight speed was 230 km per hour, with a range of over 600 km. A camera was installed in the nose of the aircraft, capable of capturing images of the aircraft's front and the readings of the radar altimeter. The images were transmitted via radio to another modified TBF Avenger torpedo bomber nearby. The operator could observe the drone both visually and through a 5-inch black and white TV screen. Of course, given the technological conditions at the time, the resolution was not very high. The drone's belly had three weapon mounts, capable of carrying a 2,000-pound bomb, a torpedo, or three smaller bombs. The remote-controlled aircraft flew alongside the drone, launching suicide attacks beyond the target's anti-aircraft firepower. The drone could also be equipped with a manned seat, transforming it into a remotely operated light bomber. However, this mode was used for training, with a pilot taking over the aircraft only in the event of a remote control equipment failure, reducing losses. Tests showed that the drone's camera had poor image quality, making precise remote control operations somewhat challenging. However, in clear weather, it could be aimed at targets such as large warships. As a result, the Navy planned to purchase 1,000 drones and deploy them to the Pacific Theater in the summer of 1944, with an escort carrier transporting the drones and remote-controlled aircraft to the battlefield. In July of the same year, four drones conducted an attack demonstration on a stranded and abandoned Japanese freighter off Guam. Three of them successfully hit the target, with two of them detonating the bombs. The demonstration results were transmitted back to Pearl Harbor and received approval from the Navy High Command, allowing them to participate in actual combat. The first actual combat occurred in September 1944, when four drones carrying 2,000-pound bombs went to attack a stranded merchant ship 55 miles away. Reconnaissance revealed that the Japanese were attempting to establish anti-aircraft gun emplacements on the ship. One of the four drones was lost, one crashed without detonating the bomb slightly behind the target, while the other two respectively hit different positions on the target and detonated successfully. Overall, the first battle was relatively successful. Subsequently, the US military deployed about 40 drones in combat, with the striking distance continuously increasing. Approximately one-third of the drones were lost due to various reasons before reaching the target, but the rest generally achieved the expected bombing results. However, the US Navy eventually terminated the attack drone program, reducing the order to 300 drones, of which fewer than 200 were actually completed. 
Given the circumstances at the time, the Allies were able to achieve victory in the war with conventional military equipment, and the reliability of drone technology needed further improvement. The U.S. Army had considered continuing the program, but ultimately made no substantial progress. Some of the surviving drones were converted into sport aircraft, while others ended up in museums after the war. <laughs>